What is under the earth? Friends, this is the same question a lady once asked the famous scientist Stephen Hawking in America. This was during a time when Stephen Hawking was giving a lecture in an assembly. At that moment, the lady stood up and said that she didn't understand anything he explained. She believed that the earth rests on a very big turtle and this turtle carries the earth through space. Stephen Hawking responded by asking her, if the earth is on that turtle, then where is the turtle standing? The lady did not have an answer to this question. But friends, today we are going to explore this very question, what is under the earth? When we talk about what is under the earth, there are two interpretations of this question. First, what is beneath our entire planet, meaning where is the earth located? Second, what lies beneath the surface where we walk? What will you find if you dig deep down? So let's unveil the mysteries and find out what is under the earth. Watch the video till the end to know more. Friends, scientists have not yet completely solved the mystery of what is inside the earth. However, through their research, scientists have revealed many secrets about the earth's interior. According to scientists, our earth is like an onion divided into several layers. Just as you peel an onion, if you cut through the earth, you will see four layers. The top layer is called the crust. The land on which we walk is known as the Earth's crust. This top layer can be divided into two parts, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is where we live, while the oceanic crust encompasses all the sea areas. Most of this layer is present on Earth. Interestingly, the second layer, the continental crust, on which we walk, is constantly moving. All seven continents on Earth are continually shifting. The speed of this movement is almost the same as the rate at which your fingernails grow. Not only the Earth, but the ocean is also in constant motion due to tectonic plates. The land of our country, India, moves 5 centimeters northeast every year. The movement and collision of these layers form mountains. When India collided with Eurasia, it resulted in the formation of the Himalayas. In history, there was a time when all the continents were connected. In the future, the continents and countries on Earth will no longer exist in the same form. This implies that ancient kingdoms are buried deep within the Earth, dragged over time, and are still buried in the Earth's depths today. The upper crust of the Earth is like the skin of an onion, ranging from 5 to 100 kilometers deep. If we dig deeper, we reach the second layer of the Earth, the mantle. Below the Earth's crust lies the mantle, the thickest layer of the Earth, extending to a depth of 2,900 kilometers. The temperature in this mantle reaches up to 4,000 degrees Celsius. This part of the Earth is also in constant motion. Magma is present in the mantle. The upper part of the mantle, above the asthenosphere, is where the tectonic plates slip. These plates collide to form mountains, and magma from the mantle erupts as lava during volcanic activities. If we dig further, we reach the core of the Earth. The Earth's core is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is in liquid form with a temperature of 4,500 degrees Celsius, mostly made of iron and nickel. The inner core is solid and is located at a depth of 5,100 kilometers. The outer core creates the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from solar storms and high radiation. The inner core at the center of the Earth is solid despite its 5,700 degrees Celsius temperature, similar to the Sun's surface temperature due to the immense pressure from the layers above. Despite these findings, humans have not been able to dig more than 12 kilometers deep. Scientists have inferred the Earth's inner structure through seismic waves. What lies inside the Earth remains full of mysteries yet to be uncovered. So, what is under the Earth? There are different layers beneath the Earth's surface. When we talk about what holds the Earth, we must look into space. In ancient times, people believed that the Earth was supported by various objects. Today, scientists have determined that the Earth, along with other planets and stars, 
is in space-time, constantly orbiting the Sun. All celestial bodies in space are within the fabric of space-time, which is present everywhere. This space-time fabric is what allows the planets, asteroids and stars to rotate and remain in their positions. According to Newton's first law, an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Therefore, planets do not need to rely on any other object to remain stable. Friends, what lies under the Earth? The answer is that there is nothing underneath holding the Earth. The entire universe, including the Earth, exists within the space-time continuum. However, many mysteries about the Earth's core remain unsolved. Some scientists believe there could be another core made entirely of iron, while others speculate about a hidden world within the Earth known as the hollow Earth theory. Although there is no evidence for this, what do you think? Could there be a hidden world inside the Earth? Let us know in the comments. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.